In this tutorial, we will see how to compute the quality productivity ratio, also known as the QP ratio. The QP ratio measures the effect of quality on productivity. It tells you how much productivity changes when quality changes. The QP ratio is computed as the number that are good from the original production plus the number that can be reworked to good status, all divided by the total number produced times the unit producing cost plus the number reworked times the cost of reworking one unit. The larger the resulting QP ratio, the better, so increasing the QP ratio shows improvement. In this example, a company produces an electronic component for the automobile industry. Production cost is $25.50 per unit. The company produces 1,000 per day on average, and 85% are good quality components. Reworking a component costs $8.25 and 25% can be reworked. Compute the QP ratio. They produce 1,000 a day and 85% are good, so they produce 850 good components and 150 defective ones. Of the 150 defective ones, 25% can be successfully reworked, so 150 times 0 0.25 equals 37.5. 1,000 are produced each day at a cost of $25.50. 35.5 are reworked at a cost of $8.25. All this gives us a QP ratio of 3.44. So what? That 3.44 really has no meaning in and of itself. Rather, it is only meaningful when you have something to compare it to. That something else could be a different process or a process before and after, some quality or productivity improvement. In this example for you to try, based on example number one, the percentage that are good in the original production goes up from 85% to 90%, and the percentage that can be reworked goes up from 25% to 50%. Compute the new QP ratio. Since you've seen an example already, let me suggest that you pause the video and try to work this problem on your own. Once you're done, you can use the video to check your work and spot any mistakes you might have made. Percentage good goes from 85% to 90%, so good production goes from 850 to 900, leaving 100 defective. The number that can be reworked rises to 50%, so 50 of the 100 can be reworked. The costs remain the same. Plugging those changes into the equation gives a QP ratio of 3.67. This is an improvement over the 3.44 we got earlier, which is what we like to see. If you found that this video helped you with your operations management problem, please consider liking the video and even subscribing to the channel.